place where darkness reigns. We got the power to fight back. We save the day, united, five and sworn. We can become more than you know. The heart will lead the way to what we can. of Elyon's body, mind, and spirit. The threefold ceremony is complete, my lord. According to the ancient ways, her resistance to crossing will now be lowered. But only for a while. You must now tell my sister who she really is, Princess of Meridian. Then, bring her here. I've already set a plan in motion. After the coronation, all her powers will be mine. <laughs> Almost time, Elyon. But I don't want to go. Do I have to? School's important. For now. Not that one! It's old and fragile. You know, I used to love school. Now I like working here and talking to you. I can't talk to my parents. Sometimes I just need to get away from them. Oh, don't worry. That time will come. Hey, Elyon. <laughs> Want to walk to school together? I called you last night. Your mom said you were off with the other girls. Oh, um... We had to close a, uh, there was this, uh, Will's frog was sick. Her frog is a stuffed animal. You know, it wasn't so much an illness as a washing machine accident. I, I have some stuff to do here. Oh, okay. See you later then. Cornelia is supposed to be my best friend. Sometimes it seems like you're the only one who understands me. Art, fun, fun, fun. Yeah, parents at school. <laughs> that says fun, fun, fun to me. I know. I can't wait to show them my history report and my science project and the inside of my locker. Mine will spend the whole night pushing back my hair and saying, why do you want to hide that pretty face? Could anything be less cool? <laughs> Try your mother bringing cookies with your name on them. Her pet name from when you were a baby. <laughs> Does Shmoopy Pants fit on a cookie? Troopy Pants. Oh, that's much less humiliating. <laughs> you think you guys have problems? Check this out. <gasps> you still dot your eyes with smiley faces? That is so summer of sixth grade. I'm talking about the C on my math midterm. I can hide this or shred it or eat it or something, but on parents' night, when my mom talks to Mrs. Rudolph, I'm grounded. But without you, we can't transform. Oh, hi, Elian. <laughs> Don't let me interrupt you. We need to tell her. No, she'd freak, which is just what Phobos needs to swoop in. Caleb and Blunk have it under control. Uh, students, students. <clears throat> well, local merchants have once again donated generously to our parents' day festivities. We got this darling assortment of paper cups from Cup City. Nothing says partay like three little pig's cups. <laughs> and these family tree charts donated by a local bookstore, which I want you to fill out with your parents, attaching photos of your relatives. I'd rather shave my head and wear clown shoes to the prom. Wow. This is gonna be... only a little fun. Dad, 
Dad, Mr. Hoffman has taught me so much about family histories and how important it is to know your roots. He especially wanted to see my family tree chart. We did the best we could, honey. There's no photos here except ours. Where are the pictures of Roger and Claudia and Great Aunt Millicent? And how come none of these people have ever visited us? It's a small family. Your mother and I were both only children. There was a fire, I think, 50 years ago. Your great aunt Sylvia, she lost a lot of documents. And her car and her phone? Uh, you know what? Never mind. I get it. I'm just not worth the bother. Maybe it's time she knew. Yeah, right. That we're not human and she's from another world? I'd hoped that we'd never have to explain to her that we brought her here to save her life. I think our family chart looks very nice. Absolutely. Less is more. Yeah, it's not crowded up with a bunch of family members. I don't know what gave the bookstore owner this marvelous idea. All this family talk is awful. Why? You're so into history and stuff. I was really excited about showing you my chart. But my folks won't tell me anything. They're so secretive and weird. It's like I don't even have a family. Elia, I think it's time I showed you something. Those people? What are you talking about? I did some research. City records. Everyone born in Heatherfield 12 years ago on March 13th. My birthday. So? <gasps> I'm not on here, but I know I was born on that day. Oh, you were. But not here. What are you saying? And why would my parents lie to me? They lied about who you are, and they lied about what they are. Someone saw her go in here. Alion! Honey! Lord Cedric, he's here with Elion. What are you? Elion, we brought you here to save your life. You must understand. You needed protection from your brother. I have a brother? Honey, you know we love you. Cedric, what have you told her? You know my parents? Don't listen to him. We don't want him to hurt you like he's hurt so many others. <laughs> You're the only one to ever hurt me. <sighs> Prince Phobos is so looking forward to seeing you two again. Cornelia, Cornelia. Now, why do you want to hide that pretty face? Oh, mother. <gasps> you told your parents I'm your what? Oh, sorry. Girlfriend isn't correct these days. <laughs> Significant other or main squeeze, those will do too. <laughs> Hi, I need your daughter. Urgent parents' night business. Ah! <laughs> yeah, modern women. Very work oriented. <laughs> but, but they haven't seen my volcano. 
It isn't true. It, it's just not... It, it can't be... Don't you see how this explains everything? You were born in Meridian, a wonderful kingdom far from here. No, 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 it's not possible. I would never lie to you. What's more, I cannot lie to Meridian's rightful princess. What? This morning I was a teenager with no friends. Now I'm a princess? In Meridian you'll have real friends, family, a history. You have a brother who misses you very much. It's time you went home. Elion! <gasps> it's the bookseller! He's the beast? He was so cute! Elion, don't believe anything he says! Oh, and your so-called friends have known about this all along. What? They've kept you from knowing who you really are. Ask them. When were you gonna tell me? I wanted to. Elion, no matter what he's told you, Cedric is not your friend. More of a friend than you. Why shouldn't I go to this Meridian? At least they're honest there. You don't know what you're saying. Oh, that's right. I never know anything. It's Cornelia who always has the special secrets. Come, princess. No, you don't. You threw me in a dungeon to rot. <laughs> Show your true nature, Cedric. <laughs> Guardians, unite! Later, we have to go. Now's the time, Princess. Do you want to stay here, or are you ready to go to your kingdom? To cross to Meridian, it must be of your own free will. I don't know. I'm ready. I didn't spot him. I should have been smarter. We all feel bad. I wanted her back in Meridian, but not in the hands of her vile brother. Lunch you up, Caleb. Found tiny folding stool. <laughs> well, we all know whose fault this is. Cornelia? What? You're the one who wouldn't let me warn her. That's not fair. I said this would happen. <laughs> Calm, girls. If ever there was a time to all work together, it is now.
Prince Phobos, your sister. Elion, is it you? I've waited so long. My brother. You're really my brother. I didn't know. Oh, there, there. Welcome to your kingdom. You're finally home. This is your family. All of them? I can't believe it. Here is your Aunt Primrose. She looks really sweet. And this, this is your Uncle Reginald, your cousin Vivian. I can't wait to meet them all. What's this? A terrarium. I keep it for the children of the staff. I knew you'd be nice. Who knows what lies has already told her? We can't just sit here. What else can we do? So we do nothing again? Oh, that's brilliant. Look, we can't do anything until there's a portal. I'll make tea. And these are the maps of every part of the kingdom. Your kingdom. It's all so wonderful. Just like Cedric said. I can't believe they didn't want me to know about this. Elion, the Earth Dwellers can be evil. That is why we have the veil to keep their lies and deceit away from our people. It makes me so mad to think I could have been here all along. You must release that anger. I'd like to try something. Put your hand on the great map here. Picture your five friends and think of something peaceful such as, say, the terrarium I showed you. What? Is this like meditation? Yes, and a test of your powers of concentration. Think of your friends and those nice plants. There! A portal! Let's go! This doesn't look like Meridian. <laughs> Glass, it's keeping us out of something. Uh-uh. And this is a giant terrarium. Ah! Ah! But can't we ever be trapped someplace without dirt? Like where in Evil Mall? <laughs> He won't stay put. Well, actually, eight. All arachnids have eight legs, and when they use them, save it for school, huh? Is that a lid? Let's go for it. Itsy Bitsy's still a little too close for comfort. Can't catch what he can't see. <laughs> We're in a jar. It's got nowhere to go. I can't see. Look! <laughs> give me those sunglasses. <coughs> Cash your credit. Straight up. It looks like a normal right-handed thread. Try turning it, uh, clockwise. Push! <laughs> Will, look out! Pickle quail eggs! What? 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 
In the restaurant, when we have a tight lid, we run it under hot water. Metal expands faster than glass. Now that Phobos has Elion's powers on his side, everything will be harder. We must find a portal, go back to Earth, hope we return to normal size when we cross over, and form a whole new strategy. <gasps> Elion's parents. Phobos' grip grows tighter. This is gonna be a lot harder than we thought. Sorry, Mom. We're just not hungry. Girls, whatever's bothering you, these teenage problems have a way of working themselves out. Think about something else. Like math. Teenage problems. Yeah, I'd give anything to have those back. On the next all-new episode of Witch. You're the Earth Guardian. Not anymore. I quit. The blonde one argues with the leader. Divided, your powers will be diminished. Will, we need Cornelia. Teamwork is the ultimate power. Yes. Which? Next Monday night at 8.30, 7.30 Central on Toon Disney.